Got it. Um, all right, so so let's let's address the maybe not the, the elephant in the room, but uh, the bauxite refinement that you brought up before. So mm-hmm. you kind of touched on this, but what was the what was the issue with that, uh, and wh- how's it going now? Uh, I'm pretty happy with the bauxite at least. Like the initial okay. rebalance, I was already really happy with. Uh, I didn't really have an issue either. Like the the patch that we dropped wasn't to address uh, the issue with the the standard recipes. Okay. We did do some small changes there, like the um, the radio control unit went up in cost, mm-hmm. uh, and because of that, of course the the turbo motor also went up. Right. And then we also increased the cost in bauxite for the heat sink, which was mostly actually there to make the cost of the cooling system go up in bauxite and then also again make the turbo motor a bit more expensive. Um, yeah, I think that was kind of fine. Like, I, I'm really happy with the standard recipes right now. I think the flow is good. It matches the vision for the game overall and the tier. Uh, the main issue that I was seeing was with the alternate recipes because they stack so much. Mm. And I think we generally uh, made a mistake there by allowing that. Because the idea was that we would make bauxite a lot more uh, accessible in the sense that it's not as expensive anymore in the bauxite. And that was mostly because we added so many new recipes that need to use the bauxite. So we were kind of seeing this issue of, okay, if we make this not way cheaper, then this is just going to bottle like everyone on the bauxite all the time. Mm. So we need to change it. So we added more bauxite nodes and we just generally made it a lot cheaper overall. But I think we went way too far with the alternate recipes. They just stacked to crazy. Hmm. Where you could make a turbo motor using only five, bo- five bauxite, I think, per turbo motor. If you use the right alts. Uh, that's just a bit insane. That sounds great. <laughs> Why didn't we keep mm-hmm. that? <laughs> um, okay, so that sounds fine. By the way, you guys, if you didn't know, or if you haven't played the game the last week or so we actually did another balancing update last week on thursday uh, where some of these alt recipes were changed did we change anything with the the regular recipes in that balance update sorry what <laughs> wait where am i uh the the we, the update we did uh thursday last week with the balancing did we yeah. change any of the the regular recipes there uh, yeah, the standard ones, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, we changed, yeah, the plutonium stuff. And then for the bauxite, we changed uh, the radio control unit and the heat sink. Okay. Cool. But the, uh, yeah, <clears throat> we can't, we kind of like, this, this is uh, the unfortunate side effect of being in early access when we're also figuring out some of these balancing changes. Uh, mm-hmm. Where when we were in experimental, we felt like the, the bauxite changes were necessary and they were pretty good. But uh, like Mark just said, some of them were a bit OP. Um, even by our standards. There were also some alt recipes that I think used, uh, what's it called? The plutonium pellet or the, the old, no, not plutonium. Yeah. Yeah. The infused uranium infused, cell. Infused. Yeah. Was it that? Yeah. That yeah. was, yeah, that was just a fuck up from my side. <laughs> so I, I tend to balance all of this in like a vacuum space, especially the alts. So like the standard recipes, they go into the, um, into the editor pretty quickly so I can play around with them. But for the alts. That's just a shit show if I actually want to test that properly with every setup and every single combination. So I'm not going to do that. Mm. Uh, what I do instead is I just run the numbers in the um, in the spreadsheet. Cool. Uh, and try to create like interesting trade-offs there. Um, yeah, and then I implement them. And then if I make a mistake, I don't realize it until it ships. <laughs> it's like everything with game development. It's like, whoops, mm. did we ship that? All right, cool.